Franca, hello Middle Earthians. Don't forget guys to pop on your live chat and not top chat. If you pop on live chat, you receive all chat. That's all. Good night. <laughs> Time to go to bed. Um, I hope everyone is well. Hope everyone is well today and roaring and ready to go. Uh, hello, Elaine, lovely to have you here. Uh, just in case you missed it, Franca and Middle, hello, hello. Uh, apparently last week when I was saying hello to the previous people that were waiting in queue, they didn't hear it. So now I'm saying hello again. <laughs> Hello Pamela, lovely to have you on today um, for another weekly live. Now, um, this is the live usually that we actually do. Um, come on Mary, you can do this. She's still half asleep guys. Uh, that we do <laughs> live antics. But we're not doing it till next week now because yours truly, you know, I've had a bit of a, a very interesting week this week. We won't even go there. We won't go there. Um, so we will be doing live antics today week. So my apologies for not being able to do it this week. But all the, got the well, look, can't get it out. All the items that I wanted to do this week, I've moved them all to next week. As you know, the vest is not going to be started until uh, Tuesday now. So there you go. Which should have started today was supposed to start today was supposed to start today so we're going to start it on tuesday uh did i say hello elaine not sure if i did um i'll talk to everyone about the market in a moment hello yvonne hello mary wanamaker mary to mary uh hello luana lovely to have you here will this be on friday from now on no mary it won't uh we'll have one more on friday which is today week and then we're going back to saturdays again Yes, I'm kind of looking forward to going back to Saturday. Fridays is really difficult for me. I did it on purpose because of the market that we've been doing on the weekends. I Even if I do decide to continue the market, Saturdays will not be one of the days that I'll be working. It's just a, a very quiet day on Saturdays. Anyways, so I'm just assuming I won't be working on Saturdays. Uh, glad you're postponing it a bit. I don't want to start until I figure out the gauge. And we'll talk about that next week um, during that first tutorial middle. The same with Claptrap. We'll talk about the gauge with her as well. It, oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm drinking my son made a smoothie before the live. <laughs> and I've done a little bit of a hiccups with it. But, you know, that doesn't usually happen, of course. <laughs> Not usually. Um, it's very nice. <laughs> Thanks, Edge. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> so I will be talking to everyone about the um, the vest gauge. Now, if you haven't made the gauge swatch yet and you want to make it, please let me know if you're having the similar issues that Middle and Claptrap are having. I think they're having two different issues, which is interesting. Um, so please let me know because we're going to sort them out in that very first video on Tuesday. If you let me know earlier, I can work on that and we'll sort it out on the uh, video on Tuesday. That would be great. Um, good morning, uh, Yvonne. Lovely to have you here. Not Yvonne. I said good morning to you. I meant Anne. <laughs> good morning, Anne. Well, good morning again, Yvonne, if you like. Um, <laughs> I'm going to miss these on Friday. It would work every week for me. I know, hun, but it's really difficult for me Friday mornings. Yeah, it's a really difficult. Saturday mornings uh, in a Melbourne, Australia, that is, is so much easier. Um, not many people are in the house and it's quiet and I can get to use this room. Like, Today I've had to throw people out of the room <laughs> to, to use it, right? Um, my swatch is correct width, but my height is bigger. Thank you, Anne. I think this is the same problem the other two are having. Um, middle and Claptrap, if you're listening, just confirm that for, for me, whether that's the same problem you're having. So the width, which is the, um, the normal width of doing a double crochet across, uh, but the other one, which is the actual, you're working this way. This is what's different. So yours is um, much, your height is much bigger. Okay, it seems everybody's height is, I think that's what everyone's saying, that their height is bigger. Let me have a look, like I said to Middle the other day, and Claptrap, let me have a look at the gauge again. Sometimes, because I crochet so tightly, um, I do the extra row, um, sometimes it kind of, <laughs> they like the word shrivel the other day. It kind of shrinks. So just let me have a look at the gauge after a few days of letting it sit. I haven't taken it undone yet. 
it wasn't coming undone until I start creating the back, which I haven't started yet because of, well, you know, what sort of a week we've had here. Um, if you're joining us new, welcome everyone. We've had an interesting week, not a good one for us, but we've had an interesting week. So it's just been a little too busy for my liking. So I've let go of a lot of things and I thought we'll just restart again next week when I'm feeling much better mentally. Can I say that word? <laughs> emotionally uh green butterfly hello welcome lovely to have you here uh and she says thumbs up thank you green butterfly i know you always say it for me you always look after me uh with a four millimeter hook both height and width are bigger going down to 3.5 millimeter the width is good but the height didn't work out so i think the height is the same with claptrap as well as with Anne. so let me have a look at my again I've put my swatch down and I've not looked at it for a week. So it's possible that it may have all, you know, <laughs> like that. <laughs> you know how I do that? I'll, I'll, occasionally I do that <laughs> where everything just doesn't fit. Hi, Auntie T's in the house. Hello, Auntie T. Lovely to have you here. Um, I'm loose, so had to use a 3.5 millimetre to get the correct width. But height is still wrong. That's all right, Anne. We'll work that out. And we're going to work something out. <laughs> Apparently, the height is the one we've got to be careful of because we are turning our piece to the side. So that's the, going to be the width of our body. So we've got to be careful to get that height right. Get the height right. I'll try to say that fast ten times. Um, so it's going to be very interesting. Did I say hello, Fluffy? I can't remember. Fluffs. Oh, did I say hello, honey? Did I miss you? Hi, Fluffy. Right, I think I did. I'm not really thinking straight these days. You guys know what's going down in my brain right now. Um, the regulars do anyways. So the kind of week that we have had this week, um, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, that's right. I didn't do anything on Monday. Totally drained from the market. Yep. Tuesday, we did the bone. And for those of you who didn't know this, uh, we did this bone in honour of the passing of our... Pomeranian pup. We'll just leave that there and not talk about that again. Um, and uh, Wednesday we did our live as normal. And um, on Thursday I was supposed to upload the next part of the wreath, which I didn't. And I'll tell you why. I, I'm hoping to get it up tonight. I just did the two, attached two of them to the wreath. It took so long. <laughs> Oh my gosh, um, let me talk to you about it in a minute. <laughs> um, that was my problem too. Yeah, nice to know. We can actually check that out middle and, and we can work that out. We'll work something out with that. I don't know what we're going to work out, but I'll let you know. Um, this is what I did on uh, Thursday. I recorded just that Thursday. Get this. <laughs> it took me one hour to record the two of them. Having said that, the difference with the other pieces will be a lot easier because the, this one here, I had to attach the the pink to the blue, the blue to the green, and then attach everything else around it. And I think I went the long way about it. But it doesn't matter. If you find an easier way to attach it, then please let me know. This is the way it's going to sit. That line is going to stay up the top. Everybody's thinking, oh, my gosh, that's going to be so prominent. It's going to stick out. It won't because between there to there, there's going to be something very exciting there during Christmas. So we're not going to worry about that because Christmas is such a long way away. Um, but there's going to be something gorgeous there. So all of these pieces, and as you can see, I use the small love heart. I haven't got the big one with me. I've left it in the other room. I've used the small love heart instead of the big one. Now, if you didn't know the small love heart, I've left a link to that small love heart. I haven't, but I will in the description box down below. That one there was the, the love heart with the magnet that I created, oh, I don't know, two or three years ago. Now, the reason is because I'm telling you now, all those pieces are not going to fit. <laughs> they're, they're way too thick, like they're way too big. Yeah, they're all not going to fit. I've tried a way of doing some of them this way and some of them that way like that it kind of looks a bit messy so i found another way of doing it which you'll see on uh actually you will see it on let's get rid of that message you will see people messaging me during my life so naughty um you will see it during the video tonight because i show you how i set it out first then i take all the pieces undone i even showed you how i pinned 
everything down. In fact, I did pin everything down so that you guys, if you didn't want to sew, you could just pin it down and that's the end of your piece, yeah? Um, but for, um, you'll have it already, yeah? So if you decide to go away and do the rest on your own, you can. But I will, be, this time next week, be uploading the video. It might even be Thursday, I can't remember. One of the videos next week, I'll be uploading the part two of how to put all these pieces on. So if you know what you're doing after you've sewn these two on during tonight's video, then you'll say, I don't need Mary anymore. They don't need me anymore. <laughs> and you can sew them on yourself. But next week, I'll be uploading the video for the rest of them. It'll be a lot quicker because I'll know what I'm doing. <laughs> this one here was a little bit trying because we had the three balloons on it and it was just a little bit trying. Yeah. So that's that. All right, that's the wreath. That part one of attaching the projects will go up tonight, okay, at some stage tonight. Once I edit the whole hour, <laughs> I couldn't believe how long it took. Um, I do speed up the process with the sewing just to say, right, I'm just going to go a little bit faster for you now <laughs> because it took so long. Um, but I think part of that hour, I think 10 or 15 minutes was showing you how to pin um, your pieces together. So instead of sewing, yeah. So um, there you go. Did you feel the earthquake? Was there another earthquake? When was the earthquake? In Melbourne? Was there another earthquake? No. Was there? Did anybody else feel anything? No. I think I almost felt uh, almost all the stuff I want to do pattern-wise is from you, Mary. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Middle. Uh, there is many I have yet to do that I want to do. I do have a lot of tutorials online. Guys, take your time to have a look through our past tutorial. Seriously, there was an earthquake in Melbourne tonight, last night or this morning. I felt nothing. Um, I finished the front of the jumper. Now I started the back. I showed the pattern to mum and she liked the idea of crocheting the jumper in one colour. Nothing wrong with that, honey, as long as it works, Yvonne. Did the earthquake happen in the middle of the night? I felt nothing, Fluffy. When was, what time was the earthquake? Do you know? Cheers, everyone. I love my son. <laughs> um, 4.6 in Melbourne. Was it 4.6 on the scale and we felt nothing? What time was it? Do we know? Mm. Fantastic. Don't tell anyone. Super thick. <laughs> Super thick. I've got water as well, but we usually do this in the morning. Well, we don't. He does. <laughs> he makes a smoothie. It's very nice. Um, so, oh, I don't remember the earthquake, actually, now that you... I don't remember hearing anything. I have to restart my computer. Oh, okay, Teresa, we're here. We'll be here. We're not going anywhere. I'm itching now. Oh, my gosh. The dust is up. The dust is up. All right. You know what, let's just get on with uh, what we're talking about until we find out the information on this earthquake. I felt nothing. I knew we had one not long ago, which was pretty big. <laughs> so we'll see what this one was like. 4.6, huh? I felt nothing. Nothing. Do we know what time it was? Um, fluffs, do you know what time the earthquake hit? Oh, I felt nothing. Uh, it's saying 1.30 a.m. 1.30 a.m.? Huh. I usually wake up when the, the slightest thing makes a noise, like like the cat just meows from miles away. I can still hear it. <laughs> so it's very unusual. Unless unless it didn't hit our area as much and ours was just a gentle. You know, if it was a sway, it probably rocked me to sleep. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But it's quite serious if there's earthquakes. We're having too many of them lately, aren't we, Fluffs, in Melbourne? We're having way too many. Uh, near Mount Borbor. Okay, well, that's probably why we didn't feel it. It's not that close. Not really. Not from not to Glenroy, I don't think. Um, but <clears throat> I had a question about the online yarn stores. I'm considering getting yarn from online as there's not a lot of variety in my area. Any good suggestions for Canada? Well, I don't know much about the yarn stores in Canada. If anyone online at the moment knows a little bit about yarn stores in Canada, please let Middle know. Also... 
you can actually let middle know after the live you can pop a comment in the comment section after the live and let middle know so yeah oh yeah inspirations absolutely they've been they're in canada aren't they elaine forgot about them mikey from the inspirations mikey <laughs> he's so good isn't he um yeah mikey from the inspirations i think he's still with the inspirations well i hope he is i don't watch him as much anymore i just don't have the time i don't have the time they are in canada okay <laughs> that's interesting because they have plenty of yarn i've never ordered because we have so many yarn stores in australia that i'd like to support um the smaller stores, I like to support support them, the smaller businesses. Ah, uh, yes, he is. He's so cute. He's so funny. <laughs> so he's still working with them, is he? That's good. That's good. I used to watch him all the time years ago. I used to have him in the background. He's such a character in some of his videos. So there you go. All right. Let's get on with what's happening at the moment. Someone asked earlier. I can't remember who it was. Uh, it might have been Elaine. I can't remember who asked me. Am I still doing Pipeworks? How is Pipeworks going? Uh, we'll be doing Pipeworks this weekend and next weekend. And then I'm not sure what we're doing. I've looked at patterns on your inspirations, but I haven't looked at the yarn. Check out their yarn middle and let us know if you do end up purchasing. Be interesting to know. Um, and Pipeworks wasn't as, mm, wasn't as popular as I thought it would be. Uh, to be fair, they've only just opened. <laughs> <laughs> they have only just opened um, two weekends ago. So it's like new to everyone, really. Um, and there's a few teething problems that they're getting used to as well. It's like anything whenever something is new. Um, so we'll see how we go with that. Karen, Red Heart, Paytons. Oh, they've got heaps. I'd love to purchase from Bendigo as well as Hobby. If you purchase from Bendigo, the only thing that's going to cost you a lot of money is the shipping. Uh, Bendigo will ship overseas. But I'm assuming, because you've seen how much money it costs me to send you gear, middle. <laughs> uh, but Bendigo might not happen long. Look, you can take the risk. Again, um, I can't guarantee you the cost of shipping. I really don't know what it is from there to here, <laughs> here to there, there to here. I don't know any of that. I know what it costs me to send you. It's totally different when you're uh, a company. Uh, hobby shipping is very high. Yeah, but hobby is actually... The yarn is extra cheap. Am I right in saying that? The yarn is extra cheap. Um, I could be wrong again. I haven't. I only ever bought from Hobby once, and then I didn't buy again. Um, hello, Mary A. It worked this time, but I was uh, canning some figs. Just got done. Oh, yum! <laughs> figs. I like them fresh. I don't like them any other way. But I love figs. Um, I love them when they're ripe. Obviously, <laughs> it's the best time to love them. Um, and don't mind me today, guys. I'm kind of wearing my house, house clothes. I'm a little bit. Didn't have time to change before the light. I didn't have time. I forgot. <laughs> don't you love it? Um, Mum wants her jumper crocheted in white. Oh, wow. Oh, too white. I might get dirty in five minutes <laughs> in the white. Uh, I was checking hobby. The yarn is reasonable for me. Yeah, it's the delivery you've got to be careful of. Middle. That will sting you a little bit. It's like anything anywhere around the world to deliver and get anything delivered these days is so expensive. Um, uh, can write, um, yeah, fresh can right off the tree. Oh, yummy, yummy. Um, all right, so, okay, so let's talk again about um, cream, actually. Cream, I know, it's the same as that one. I didn't have it in here. The other day we got a delivery in the middle of the live. <laughs> it was three skeins of 10-ply cream um temple or aran weight yarn and it was the cream from bendigo woolen mills and this was an order i actually um a commissioned order actually that i got from the pipeworks market the very first day of pipeworks market she commissioned she wanted a, a little sleeve thing not a whole top just one of those sleeve things that goes across she wants one of those and she wants leg warmers as well so yeah in cream all in cream i, I said i said to her look do you want to check the other colours on site? She goes, no, 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 no. I just want the cream. All right. Heads up. That's going to get dirty. <laughs> just heads up. <laughs> if you're anything like me, it'll get dirty in the first five minutes. <laughs> I think I panic when I put something new on. Like I think, oh, it's new. Oh, it's new. Let's have a drink. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's like I don't spill the drink any other time or I don't spill food any other time. Just when it's new. <laughs> That's annoying. Every new item I have ever purchased 
anything from anything <laughs> if i spill something or i drop something maybe i'm just grotty don't tell anyone um <laughs> we have a big hoot owl uh ganging uh, around hanging around uh i guess he sees a little birds after the figs oh i can see that yeah it looks better than white yes apparently it does uh, I would have to crochet with gloves on if I used cream. I oh, know, very pedantic about the hands uh, when I'm using cream. They always get washed before I start. The actual, that part of it I'm clean, but it's when I start eating and drinking. Crystal from Bagaday said that if you order from Joanne's, put it in your cart, then leave this site, then leave the site. A little later, Joanne's will send you an email with 20% discount coupon to use hope that helps oh julie that's oh, very interesting information hopefully they're not watching this video <laughs> oh, no, stop doing it um but that is a really good thing i know someone else who does that i can't remember the lady's name but there you go that happens a lot uh my granny stash down project is getting so large i can't fit it on my lap anymore oh that's good because it'll cover the feet i get cold feet middle I get really cold feet. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. <laughs> that's very interesting, Joanne. Yeah, Joanne. That's very interesting. <laughs> I should try that with all the sites and see what happens. <laughs> Maybe all the sites will do the same thing just to keep the order. That's a very clever thing to do. Look, I give her credit, not her particular, but the store credit. credit. Um, it does happen a lot. They want you to go ahead and buy it, which is fair enough, middle. Fair enough, yeah. I suppose if that was me and I knew there was like a $400 order sitting there, well, no way would I say worry about shipping. I'd say, right, let's go. <laughs> let's post this order. Um, if it's only for $20 or something or $10, it's really not worth its weight in gold, especially if you're shipping overseas. <laughs> it's not worth it. But for a big order, it's quite worth it. Um, yeah, if you're, if you're going to order big, I think it's worth discounting the um shipping if it's local that's not a problem yeah I'll, I'll discount easy but once it's overseas you know overseas costs a lot of money sometimes it's 25 dollars to send and sometimes it's 65 dollars depending on where you where you're shipping so that's a lot of money for shipping <laughs> it's madness i tell you what the postage my well, it's madness <laughs> anyway let's get back to what we're doing i'm messing around with my playing with my pen here you know, fiddling with it um on tuesday we did the bone on wednesday we had our live on thursday we didn't do the wreath we're doing it today i said we'd do a short on friday if i didn't do the vest well i did the short yesterday <laughs> and the short was about the wreath i'm not going to do the short on the vest that'll happen next week um maybe on monday give me something to pop up monday when it's a very quiet day monday now if you didn't know this i've left mondays whilst i've been doing um pipe works i've left mondays vacant so that i can have a break because it's a seven day week for the past well not just for um pipe works but three weeks before pipe works i was working every day on the weekend pulling down all these boxes and um, filling uh, boxes up and labeling them and pricing every item so I was working non-stop so really so far it's been five weeks that I've worked seven day a week so I thought you know what on the Mondays I'm going to bring it down to six day week and take a rest on Monday mind you on Monday I just sit like a blob on the couch and crochet so I'm actually still working <laughs> if you think about it so the same thing's going to happen this Monday and probably the very last Monday. Maybe the last Monday we might do a video vlog for you and you can have a look-see at what happened at the market and we can decide what we're going to do with the rest of the stock. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> we'll work something out on the channel. We'll see what we can work out. Um, but it's one of those things where the reason I'm clearing out is because I don't have the space and that's all it is i don't have the space <laughs> what she doesn't have any space um all right so let's go uh it does happen a lot when i want you to buy it yes uh i run cold all the time thanks to my disability oh i know what you mean yes uh my 64th birthday is monday the third 64 yay happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear Bonnie. Happy birthday to you. Now, that's only this Monday. Coming. Oh, it's this Monday. Party. Don't forget to have a good time. 
Don't forget to have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something nice that you like to drink in the morning. Relax the first part of the morning. Don't forget to be served by everyone. And if they don't serve you, they're out of here. <laughs> you tell them that I said, out. <laughs> if you're not going to serve me, out. <laughs> and don't forget to have fun. That's all. That's all. Eat lots of cake or chocolate or lollies or whatever you want to eat that's sweet and yummy. <laughs> Or if you like sour, you can eat those as well. <laughs> eat whatever you like. Um, <laughs> uh, you plan to. Oh, you plan to. Okay. Good. Good. I'd say you should. <laughs> I do. I take a whole week off YouTube. You know that. <laughs> the first week in January is my birthday. Um, and I take the whole week off. <laughs> as you all know. Actually, I nearly take two weeks off because I do the... Um, the first video of the year on the second week and say this is the first week of the month first thursday of the month <laughs> so i usually bring it up to the second week on uh, january on my birthday so take the week off <laughs> all right so that's that now uh this week what have we got this week very interesting week we've got i'm going to do a rest day on monday because i'm going to be tired and then Tuesday, we will be starting the vest finally. <laughs> we'll be starting the vest on Tuesday. We'll have our live Wednesday. Um, we will be still doing the vest on Thursday. Uh, if we get it done Thursday, then we'll finish off the um, uh, attaching our pieces on Friday. But if we don't, we'll still do the vest on Friday. We can attach the pieces the next week. I want to get the vest done this week what <laughs> and we probably won't get it done we'll probably get it done the next week but you know what here's hoping i always have wishful thinking don't i <laughs> oh there you go i always have wishful thinking okay i have my birthday marathon every year watch my favorite movies for six days actually i just finished watching it again as i tribute to my dad oh that's a wonderful tribute isn't it um oh bonnie uh i want to do the great lakes tour oh, that's nice um everybody's saying happy birthday um that's lovely middle it sure is middle sure is um all right so that's that i just wanted everyone to know what's happening now today week we will be doing live antics yet again and the reason we're doing live antics on friday of next week or friday week exactly is because i hope to have the vest finished or even half finished during this week which means the week later we can actually do live antics so this friday's live antics coming will be for next week's project this is what we usually do the live antics is done the, the week before now what's live antics if you're joining us new uh live antics live antics is when i pop the yarn on the table or i'm holding 10 yarns or i've got a whole wall full and i say right pick a few colors and one subscriber from that live gets to choose the color or colors for the very next project on the channel. What? And their name gets mentioned in the tutorial as the one who chose the colors. Now, I sometimes don't give you a very big option. I say, right, here's six colors, choose five. And then they go, what? What? <laughs> and they're thinking, all oh, these colors in the room and you want us to choose five out of the ones in your hand. That's correct. And it usually because I have an idea, I usually have the project in mind before I start, yeah? Um, I have an idea in mind and I want to pass that idea using those colours only. So there you go. All right. Um, and I've missed all the chat. Oh, everyone's talking about the little gorgeous little middle. Little middle. Oh, it's so cute. She's so cute. She's my lefty. Um, she's my lefty. She sits right here. Just imagine middle sitting here, yeah? uh three days ago i uh, but i don't work fridays of the weekend technically my vacation started three days ago oh you lucky girl on holidays even a staycation you know what a staycation is when you have your vacation at home that's what they call it i don't know what they call it overseas but here it's called a staycation i never heard of it until more recently um even if you have one of those little staycations at home they're always good you just you your whole persona comes down you relax a bit. You haven't got that tension of work. Oh, it's just great. <laughs> uh, that is me, staycation. Yes, 
Yes. So I didn't hear about that. That's a new word for me. Where did Franca go? I know she was on. What Franca did, I think, like most people do, they leave a message on the post when it comes out and sometimes one or two messages sit there. I don't know how that works, but it does. Uh, I'll, I call it a staycation too, which is what I'm doing. Yeah, that's good. It's great. I've never heard of it until, I reckon, the past year or so, two years. First time I've ever heard of it. People said it the first time. I thought, well, what does that mean? I kind of worked it out when you said staycation. I kind of thought, does it mean staying at home or something? <laughs> and it does. It means just that. Staying where you are and just enjoying your time either alone or with family or with friends. It doesn't matter. I, when I'm at home, I'm not working about work or YouTube. I'm enjoying my time just crocheting. I watch funny movies. I like to watch comedies, as you do. Lately, I started working um, working out a little bit. <laughs> You're six foot two. Wow, Yvonne. Oh, my gosh. I'm five foot two. <laughs> Imagine you and I standing together. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good to see you up there. Good to see you down there. <laughs> It would be funny, the two of us standing together, wouldn't it? We'd be cute. <laughs> uh, about little middle. <laughs> little middle. I know. And she's so cute. <laughs> I don't know what she's like. I just call her cute. I just know her as being my lefty. You know what? If you didn't know this, guys, middle has a habit of letting me know when we jump up in subscribers, letting me know what's happening. She's such a cute lovely lady i love her i don't even have never met her so there you go it goes to show it goes to show someone all the way on the other side of the world it's okay you don't have to be friends next door <laughs> we could call in our next door neighbor from far away <laughs> our next door neighbor without the neighbor <laughs> all right i'm getting out of hand here all right let's get on with what i was talking about so next week is all about the vest week guys Oh, you're four foot three. Oh, you and I will stand together. We'll be doing the hello, hello. Oh. Imagine the three of us together. You, me, and Elaine. <laughs> was it Elaine? It wasn't Elaine. Who was it? It wasn't Elaine that said she was six foot. No, Yvonne. Sorry, honey. It was Yvonne. So you, me, and Yvonne, we'd be like a stepladder. <laughs> three of us in a row. <laughs> what? <laughs> we'd be like a stepladder um all right so is corinne on did i miss corinne no oh corinne hi honey i missed you i missed you sorry hello hello um we've been talking all about what's happening this week on the channel and i did also mention that friday week coming we are going to be doing our live antics again we were supposed to start this friday today uh, but yours truly was a little bit behind because of my own little personal issues that we've been having here at home. Most of our subscribers know why. Um, so we're going to do our live antics next week. It's one week away. Um, all right. So it's not too far. It's only a week away. Now, last weekend on uh, at Pipeworks, one of our subscribers did pop around to Pipeworks. So that was really nice. That's the lovely Liz. Um, and she purchased something and she got her extra 10% off. So look, guys, if you come to the table at Pipeworks and you say you are one of our subscribers, I will give you 10% off whatever, ever I have there. Whether it's on a table, on a stand, whether it's a blanket, whether it's a beanie, whether it's the tiniest small thing or the biggest huge thing, like as big as a house, which is being ridiculous now. Um, but you will get a further 10% off everybody else. But you have to say that you're a subscriber on the channel. Otherwise, I sit and cry and rock from side to side, suck my thumb. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> but it is a thought. It's, it's a thought. I could do it, right? Um, so if you say that you are a subscriber with us, we will give you a further 10% off. Anything, anything. Um, we're staying steady at 26 at the moment. Thank you, middle. <laughs> But it did go up very quickly over the weekend. Have a feeling a lot of it has to do with pipe works. So I do give it credit. It's <laughs> not too bad. Um, hubby just got home. We're going to have some supper. Love you all, Missy. Oh, enjoy your meal, Bonnie. Have a good meal and have a good birthday on uh, Monday. Enjoy your day. Yeah. Um, so that's pipe works has actually been good for the channel as well. 
um, the sales at the market, not as much as I thought would be. I thought I would have more sales. It doesn't worry me too much because, well, this stuff is going to go. Whether it sells then or whether it sells afterwards. And we'll talk about that on the channel. Um, and whether I donate some leftover leftover gear as well. Oh, Auntie T, that took a while for your computer to sort itself out. On your back. Lovely to have you back. Um, yeah, so uh, what did you miss, Auntie T? What did you miss? Mm, I don't know what you missed. I'm trying to think of what you missed. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I can't remember now. It's been a long time since you've been away. <laughs> You're away for a while. I think I talked about everything we're going to do next week. Um, next week is all about the vest week. So we are starting on Tuesday, not Monday. Monday's my rest day. And um, so it's all about the vest next week. So there will be no other videos, no other tutorials, just tutorials on the vest. That's it. So if there's only one tutorial, if there's only two, then that's that's all it's going to be. Yeah. If, there's, if it turns out to be three, that's it too. Oh, we're buffering, are we? oh really am i buffering just for middle or am i buffering for everyone just to make sure um it's not my internet if it's our internet i'll you know i might have to shut down we are on school holidays here i would you know what i just said before the live i put them the moz on myself i said before the live gee we haven't been buffering for the school holidays okay so melbourne's not buffering um okay so actually it's only you at this stage middle by the looks of it it's okay for Melbourne. Um, two people are from Melbourne here. Three people, one person's from Queensland. So, yeah, it's not buffering for them. Okay, it, middle, it must be you, hun. Um, kept, kept buffering for a bit, but you're okay. But you're okay now, middle, or not? Uh, nope, all fine. Okay, everyone's okay. It's okay. It's all good. Oh, it's good now, is it? Okay, we're all good. <laughs> we're back in action. <laughs> New Jersey in US in in USA is good. Oh, that's good. Okay. New Jersey. Is that New Jersey? I hope I said that right. NJ. I'm assuming it's New Jersey. I can't think of any other states. I don't know a lot of the states there in, in the US. It's a, it's a big place. Uh, I'm over here at Western Australia. So Western Australia is okay too. Okay, we're good to go. <laughs> we're good to go. Uh, oh, Cherry Taggy. Lovely to have you here, hun. Lovely for you to pop in. New Jersey. Did I say it right with the accent? I'm not good with the accent, sorry. Uh, well, I am, but it's not the American ones. <laughs> school holidays here too, but I think it's good for now. Usually when school holidays happens, everyone who's anyone is on their internet at home. So data's getting used all over the world, all over the world, which is another thing. As you know, whenever there's school holidays on, it takes forever for our tutorials to go up. I can start at four in the afternoon and I can still be there at 6.30. We're still trying to get this tutorial up. So just be weary that this week you might get a tutorial at six o'clock at night. You might get it at 12. You might not get it till four in the morning. <laughs> so just be weary of that this week. This is the second week here in Australia for school holidays. So this is the last week of the holidays. And then we all go back to normal, which sometimes can be worse. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But usually the holidays, it messes up for me. I'm, fingers crossed. It has not messed up so far. I, I think with these holidays here in Australia, these are our winter holidays. So I think what happens is a lot of families tend to go, not so much even over, overseas, even interstate, uh, maybe Queensland where the weather is better on the first week of the school holidays because they want that sun that we don't get here during the first week which is icy cold <laughs> so i think what happens is they all do that and so the internet is not getting used the first week but the last four or five days of the school holidays here is just chaos <laughs> that's parents getting ready for school for the next week that's children wanting to do other things or they're tired of doing too much so they want to stay home and play on their games and whatever games they're using i don't know i don't know these days i don't keep up with those things <laughs> I, I don't keep up with that i don't have my own family's not as young as that anymore so they have a life <laughs> as well as still playing they have a life yeah all right and um, what have i missed the air here is horrible waiting for the rain says cherry 
uh, Adelaide school holidays start 7th of July. Okay, that's probably why the second week it plays up. The internet plays up more because the holidays are all over the place. That's very interesting. I didn't know that. Um, everyone's saying hello. School is out for summer here, so it's going to be a few months before school starts again. Oh, that's interesting. I thought it was only a couple of weeks, but mm, months over there. Oh, okay. Okay. That's like us, you know, during the summer holidays. The children get maybe five weeks. Students, I should say, not children. Students, adult students as well, get, I think, five weeks in between school holidays. That sort of thing. Uh, bad air quality due to Canadian fires. Oh, that's right. There was fires everywhere there, isn't there? That doesn't affect you either, does it, middle? We hope. Um... There you go. All right. So that's what we're doing this week. We are working on the vest this week. I know I said we will do the rest of these on the um, wreath, which we've already started. And you'll be getting that part of the tutorial today. So um, I know we said we'd attach them on Friday. But if we still haven't finished our vest, we might continue with the vest and attach them on the Tuesday of the next week. Yeah. Um, okay, where am I? <laughs> um, US also back to school is after Labor Day on the 1st, I'm assuming, yeah. Next week is school holidays um, as well here in Victoria. We have one week left, Julie, yeah. It's just got one week left. Not that I'm complaining, but we have one week left. And by the way, guys, it's also not that far off from me going to the Australian Sheep and Wool Show this year just for a visit. Not as a um, stall holder, just for a visit this year. Yes, I've decided not to do the stall this year. Uh, end of June to the first Monday of September is summer holidays there. Oh, okay. Wow. That is long, isn't it? Um, with the, um, the reason I didn't do Bendigo this year is because I was doing Pipeworks Market local. I thought, let's try something local and see what happens. Um, my my opinion would have been to have done Bendigo instead, but that's, you know, that's only because everything is new for sales-wise. It would have been better to have done Bendigo. For the channel-wise, I think it's a good thing that I did Pipeworks Market, I think. Um, again, I, I can't be, you know, sure. I don't know how it affects the channel at all, but I do know there's um, a few extra people watching the channel at the moment that I met at Pipeworks, and uh, thank you to those of you who I did meet, meet at Pipeworks that are watching our channel and that have already sent messages to me on the channel. I do appreciate that a lot. Now, um, this week, again, all about the vest. Uh, I don't know if you were here on Wednesday's live and saw these guys right here. I had a delivery of these handles. The, I have about five or six of these in that form and that form and five or six of these in this style and that style. So... They're all over the place. So, like this. So, there you go. I have them like that. Yeah. And I have them like that. So, I have quite a few of them. I will have some on sale at the market. I've decided not to keep them all because what am I going to do with them all? <laughs> How many bags can I make? Um, but I have decided to do a couple of bags and pop them on our website for sale as well. Um, and I'll see how we go um, with Pipeworks. If they don't sell at Pipeworks, I'll pop them up for sale on the website if they don't go well at Pipeworks, which I kind of assume they wouldn't really. There's not many people at Pipeworks who do this sort of thing, yeah? They like they like to buy that sort of thing, but they don't really like to crochet. They like to see it. They just don't like to do it, uh, which is okay. Not everybody does it, right? Uh, we did the air quality issues earlier. Um, in the season due to the fires uh, lately it's been rain that's a problem yeah love those handles thank you Elaine um, if there's a color that you like please let me know I'll keep it aside for you they're both there's a lot there there's so many <laughs> we're not going to go this weekend uh, I'm going to show um, I'm going to the show as well do you know what day you will be there um, I'm going on the Friday looking forward to it yes I'll be there on the Friday now, I'm actually not the designated driver, so my designated driver will pick me up Friday morning. We will get there. I don't know what time because I don't know what time she's picking me up. <laughs> um, and we'll spend the day there at the market or at the, the show. It's a show at the end of the day. Um, and then the next morning we might pop into uh, Bendigo Woolen Mills, but we 
I don't really know the whole day planned. But we're only going to spend the day, the Friday, at the show. So if she doesn't pick me up early enough, we might not even have the full day there. Yeah. But then I don't know what time we're going yet, but I will let everyone know on the day. I'll do like a little video thing and you'll see that. Um, it'll be a small live that I can't do in the show because there'll be other people. But it'll be like five minutes of me being outside the show saying, here I am, here I am. And then you'll get to see some gear on. But it's a long way away. I mean, not really. It's two weeks. Starts 14, 15, 16, 17. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I'll be there Friday, Julie. I will be hopefully going off to see Jay's. Jay's got a, a, a store. She doesn't have a store. Um, her group has a store. Uh, I'll be going to see her on the day. So if you want, uh, we can you can meet me on the day as well. That would be good to meet, actually. Um, so there you go. And that's a long way away, that <laughs> is two weeks. We don't know what happens in two, three weeks. So much can happen. But I've already booked, paid for, so I'm going. It'll be on the Friday. I'll give everybody the details on one of our video vlogs anyway, so you'll get that information. Um, but otherwise, I'm not doing a stall there at all, so I won't be uh, there for the weekend. I'll just be there for the Friday. Friday. Um, all right, so there we go. I'm going to be doing um, some of these. There might be a tutorial on one of them. I haven't decided which one. Maybe two. I don't know. Long way away, though. It's a long way away. It's going to be way after Bendigo. So these are the things I I pick up that has nothing to do with our tutorials. So I don't want them to get into the middle of our tutorials. We still have other tutorials to go. Now, I haven't had an opportunity to watch that video vlog to remind me of what the next project's going to be after the vest. Because I don't, didn't want to worry about it until we finished the vest. I thought, you know what? I don't want to start anything new. We're just going to start that vest this week and we're going to finish it before we start anything new. I think that's what I've decided to do this year anyway. And I haven't been following those rules, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to be strict on that. <laughs> right, time to get strict. <laughs> time to start being strict. <laughs> I won't. Um, I, I'll try. I'll try my best not to start anything new. <laughs> It doesn't work, does it? I find myself always starting something new. <laughs> I'll try not to. Um, so we're just going to focus on the vest this week. If you do not see any tutorials, it means I'm not ready to upload the vest. How's that? No, no, there'll be tutorials. <laughs> she can't. She can't stop. Um, so you will see the vest started on Tuesday, not Monday. Monday, I'll be snoozing on the couch, <laughs> curled up in a ball. Nothing, doing nothing. <laughs> the, the show does put me, the two-day weekend at the market puts me right out. I don't know how people do it all the time. They work full-time and then they do the two, two days on the weekend. I don't know how they do it. Um, I think maybe 10 years ago it would have been a lot easier. I think age has a lot to do with it. By the end of the day, I'm tired. I'm wrecked. So the first day on the Saturday when I first did it, I was out walking like, I was so sore. I couldn't even walk properly. Oh, is Fluffy going? Oh, did I miss Fluffy? Is she going? Oh, bye, Fluff. Oh, I missed you. Sorry, hun. Um, yeah, by the end of the day, I was walking really, really sore on the first day. The second day kind of settled a little bit. Um, and the last weekend was a lot better. And now I know this weekend will be even better because we're more organised. We know exactly where everything goes. We just go bang, 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 bang. There will be a few changes to the table this weekend. I have thought about it. Actually, I was only thinking about it late last night. And I thought, oh, if I put that there and that there, I can actually, you know, have mine in little steps. Um, uh, I'm bad for that. Uh, I'm on six blankets. I'm going to pack them away and start something. New. I'll do that. Oh, I'm buffering now. Then the thing speed up, speeds up. Okay, am I buffering? Does anyone know if I'm buffering? Or was it just for Sherry? Uh, I didn't go. You didn't go. Oh, well, someone said your goodbye, Fluffy. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, Fluff. <laughs> um, it sounds like a chipmunk. Okay, Sherry, that might be you because everybody's saying no. They're not having problems. I sound like a chipmunk. <laughs> what does the laugh sound like? <laughs> so everybody else is not having problems honey okay um Yvonne went not fluffy oh okay <laughs> bye Yvonne <laughs> I mixed everybody up did I 
<laughs> I sound like a chipmunk. <laughs> oh, that would be funny to hear, actually. I can actually do the high-pitched voice sometimes when I'm messing around, <laughs> which is very chipmunky. <laughs> can, I, can I use that word, chipmunky? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, all right, let's get back to <laughs> got the giggles now. <laughs> all I can think of is because I'm tiny. All I can think of is me looking like a chipmunk as well. <laughs> You're good now on my end. Okay, middle. <laughs> Do it, that's <Seth> fluffy. <laughs> Green butterfly says it is buffering a little. Oh, a little's better than a lotle. I just invented a new word again. <laughs> it was so funny. Cheer up. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> that's funny um all right it's only funny because i'm visual i'm a visual person so i'm visualizing the little chipmunk with my face <laughs> all right stop come on get serious mary get serious now i mentioned that i was going to show you a product that i purchased from pipeworks but I forgot the lady's name, so I'm not going to show you now <laughs> until next week um, when I go back and see her again. <laughs> I don't want to do that um, and not, you know, mention her stall as well. So I know she'll be there soon again, so I'm going to leave. I think she does Sundays there, so, <laughs> so I'll uh, do that. I really have got the giggles now. Um, so I'll do that on Wednesday. <laughs> All right, come on, let's. Pull yourself together, woman. <laughs> Pull yourself together. We're not having one of these. We're not having one of these Mary loses the plot moments. Now I'm seeing you as a chipmunk. <laughs> oh, Fluffy. Uh, all good here in Bendigo. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> I'm not hilarious. Someone called me a chipmunk. But I'm just... Laughing because I'm thinking, there's my face on a little chipmunk body <laughs> running around with that voice. Um, <laughs> all right, now come on, let's get serious, guys. This is a serious channel, <laughs> not <laughs> I'm so small, I could pass as a chipmunk. Between you and I, middle, I think we both have I don't know what you want to call us height envy. <laughs> Everybody wants our height because then they think they would be cute too, like us. <laughs> All right, I turned that around a bit there, middle. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> chip monkey. <laughs> Are you <all> right? <laughs> I know. I name everything what I want to, and I don't care if anybody likes it. <laughs> Look, if Shakespeare can do it, so can I. <laughs> comparing myself to Shakespeare. Um, Sherry says she's 5'1". Oh, we could start a trio <laughs> of height envy. Everybody wants to be us. Everybody wants to be us. <laughs> we could use that little attitude too. I'm not bored. Everybody wants to be me. <laughs> um, oh, that's from a movie. <laughs> that's a line from a movie. I shouldn't use that line. But anyway, all right. So how do we get so sidetracked? Luana's 4'11". Oh, we're like a room of shorties. I love it. <laughs> We should start up the short club. <laughs> we'll call it the chip monkeys. <laughs> what happened there? We went from being a normal crochet channel to this insane chipmunk thing. <laughs> what happened? Who started this? Now, who called me a chipmunk earlier? <laughs> We're going to be called the chip monkeys. <laughs> We'll have our own theme song. We'll have a, we'll have a cover page. <laughs> Chipmunks at crochet. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. Look what you've done. We now we're now called the Chip Monkeys, and we crochet and we have a cover page <laughs> on where I don't know. <laughs> what well, I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, look look. <laughs> oh, I messed it up. Oh, oh. You know why? Because I think I took the last... Oh, there's about two tissues left in there. <laughs> in the description box down below. <laughs> Remember that video? I can't do that again. That wasn't planned. That was an accident. That was not planned. Remember I picked up that tissue box one day? 
and I wasn't planned. <laughs> I'm very itchy today. There's a lot of dust in here. Um, and it's my fault too because my hands are on my face. I've got to keep the hands away from the face. Someone hold the hands up. <laughs> it wouldn't work because I'll need to crochet soon. Um, <laughs> got to go. See you next time. Bye. See you, Luana. We'll catch you soon, hun. Well, you know what's happening next week. It's all about the vest next week. Vest, vest, vest. That's it. All about the vest. Um, I have to make that tissue box holder. We've got two, Sherry. We've got that one and the small square one as well. Um, which I'm in the middle of something very interesting on that one. What? I was for years and it just put it down and I found the box the other day and went, yes, there it is. I found all the little bits of yarn. I thought, oh, I don't know if I have enough left or may have to order more, but I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I just already ordered from Bendigo. That's enough. Um, yeah, we'll see you soon, Luana. Um, make them both, yeah, I love it. Actually, you reminded me that I need to make another small one and bring this one at Pipeworks Market so people can see those and purchase those as well. And they're made with leftover yarn. You can make it in one piece if you like. You don't have to cut. I do like the idea of having two colours uh, or three colours even. In this case, this has got three colours. Now I just used your normal Kleenex. <laughs> your normal Kleenex tissue box. Uh, but there you go. There you go. The other day I mentioned... Um, that we, that I had purchased this from a lady in Portugal, which I thought was in Australia. <laughs> How I messed that up is beyond me. Um, and I said that I purchased two. And I did one I found literally after the live. And I've already worked, started working on one. Whether we do it on the channel is another story. Spent $40 at my local yarn store on clearance yarn marked and an additional 25% off. Oh, that's pretty cool. Elaine, it's really cool. Um, I mean, Cherry, sorry. <laughs> Everything old is new again. Certainly is, Elaine. Certainly is. Um, I'll talk to you about that in a minute. I need to make one. Maybe I could use my ball of Bendigo. Yes. Um, I still can't remember if it was 8-ply. Let me know if it was 8-ply because this is 8-ply. I think it's it's not Bendigo's cotton. This one is not Bendigo's cotton. I'm looking at it. It's that thicker one. But it'll still fit your box. If you're using the Bendigo, maybe do another row because I found this yarn is a lot thicker than Bendigo's. Um, maybe just do one more row before you do the border row. Check it on your box as you're doing it, yeah, if you decide to make it. Check it out on your box. That was an old tutorial as well. I can't remember. I think it was three years, maybe. Oh, I don't know. It is an older tutorial. Um, not, might need to do a new one, hey? Different pattern. What do you reckon? We could do that. We could do that. Not right now, of course, because this week we're talking all about the vest. It's all about the vest. Nothing else. Vest, 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 vest. And more vest. <laughs> Hopefully we can get it complete this week. That would be good. But I doubt it. It does take a while to do. Well, if you're a small, it won't take you long. <laughs> if you're anything like somebody I know... <laughs> not mentioning any names whatsoever um it'll take a little bit longer to do because you have to do all those rows and rows and rows and rows and rows um it's all about the vest all about the vest about the vest <laughs> oh, we can sing it i don't mind um <clears throat> excuse me let me have a drink i'm gonna drink of water it's all that laughing I got all caught up. Cheers. Mm. This is the cup that uh, the lovely Jody gave me. And you can see Naughty Me has been putting it in the dishwasher. <laughs> Don't put them in the dishwasher, guys. They take off all the colouring. That one there is starting to lose its colouring. This one here is losing its colouring. They're starting to lose their colouring. Don't put them in the dishwasher. Just wash by hand. It's a lot. Um, it is a lot quicker, right? But it's also, it takes off all the colouring. And I've chipped it. I'm so sad I've chipped that one. But that I love that cup because it's big and it can store. That's all water in there, yeah? It's bigger than the average cup. Most of the cups are this small. It's not just big, but it's wide too. So it stores a lot of water. Cheers. Mm. Um, yeah, it stores a lot of water, which is good. Uh, sorry, I stepped away from the uh, for a minute just as you were talking about uh, my last comment about my ball of Bendigo. Ah, oh, okay. Um, when you do yours, <clears throat> if you're 
Um, Skein of Bendigo is not eight ply. I think it's eight ply from memory. Is it eight ply, hun? Just let me know. Um, this is not exactly Bendigo yarn, so it's a little bit thicker. Even though it's an eight ply, it's a little bit thicker than Bendigo. It's a thicker eight ply. So you may need to do one more row of that before doing the border row. So if you get to the border row and decide, all right, I'm ready to do the border row, and your box looks like this, you need to do another row, all right? Just check it when you're you're doing it. I could have even gone for another row and did a smaller border row, like a single crochet. I think this is half double. Is it half double? I can't even remember now. It's been so long. Um, but it should be okay, right? This particular piece is actually stretched a little bit too. And this is what I'm talking about with the vest. When I have a look at the gauge on um, the vest that I did this week, we may found it's it's shrunk a little bit or it's stretched a little bit. So I may have to take that top row undone that everybody's saying they've got theirs for 10 and mine's 11. I mean, mine's 10 and there's 11 centimetres. Um, but I'll let you know once I have a look, once we do the tutorial on Tuesday, I'm taking that swatch, gauge swatch, undone on Tuesday for to Tuesday's tutorial. So I will just show you a two-minute fast speed. You'll see it on speed. <laughs> How I take it all undone and then maybe I'll pop that at the end of the video so you don't have to waste time watching it. Some people like to watch it for fun, yeah. Um, but I'll pop the information of the size that measurement. I'll show you again on Tuesday. We'll see. If it shrunk a little bit, um, it means I need to do an extra row. If it's stretched, it means you are all right and I need to take that last row off. Sometimes you need to let it sit for a while and then come back to it. Um, you never know. But if it's the same, we have to work something else out. If it's different and and doesn't suit with yours, we'll have to work something else out, yeah? Uh, acrylic or cotton, uh, are we talking the vest here, Sherry, or are we talking the tissue box? If it's tissue box, that's cotton, yeah? Um, no, that's half cotton, half acrylic. I'm trying to remember which cotton was it. Was it this one? Yes, it was. How about that? I couldn't find that cotton if I tried. Um, the Wren cotton, it's this one here. This one here. Now I find that um, that's 100% cotton. Yeah. But I find that a little bit thicker than, oh no, it might not even be Wren. No, it is Wren. It's definitely the Wren. Um, I find that a little bit thicker, even though it's an eight ply. It's not thicker. What it is, is, what it is, is Bendigo's yarn, Bendigo's cotton is soft. This cotton is a little bit more dense, got a little bit more durability on it, which is good for, um, you know, housewares, yeah. Uh, Bendigo cotton is perfect for your clothing because, you know, you like nice soft, I like nice soft things on my body, as you do. Um, so I use Bendigo. Uh, I remember it being eight ply. If it's an eight ply, then it's okay for that tissue box with that pattern, all right. Just check when you're making it. Uh, again, because Bendigo is this very soft cotton, it's nice cotton, it might sit differently. But check anyway, have a play. Uh, I can double check and message you on Facebook. Oh, you don't need to, hun. Just as long as you know it's eight ply, yeah? If it's eight ply, then the tissue box won't be an issue, yeah? Why not weave in elastic on the box? Yes, a lot of people have mentioned that too, Sherry. You're absolutely correct. Or we could have just done another... I could have done a slip stitch row and tightened it up. Could have done that. I think with slip stitch, though, once it's tight, it pulls a in a little bit. So, yeah, maybe elastic would be nice. That would be a good idea. Um, hello Claptrap. Oh, you've come in just the wrong time. I was almost ready to finish up. Um, well, no, not really. I wasn't in a hurry to get out. <laughs> but I was almost ready to finish up. Um, we, we spent an hour already talking about everything. To give you an update, this, you'll be seeing just these two items being attached on today's tutorial tonight. I've decided not to do the rest. The only reason is I'll be doing the rest on the channel eventually um, because they took me a long time. <laughs> and I don't really want to have these really big videos anymore. I just, it's way too much um, to keep up with editing. It takes me hours and hours to edit. Then I go back the next day and I've got to re-edit. And then I go back the next, and four days later, I haven't uploaded anything because the video is too long. So now I'm keeping them short. I'm just going to break them all up. We're not in a hurry with that anyway because it's an annual project. We could take our time in and putting the items on anyway but they those balloons those balloons took a long time to attach 
I don't know what I did, but it just took me forever. Anyway, that's happening tonight at some stage. It'll go up at some stage. I can't give you an actual time because I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. So, But all I, I went and counted all the um, videos I took and I went, oh my gosh, it's an hour and 20 minutes. When I bring it down, it'll be down to an hour. No, we can't have that. So I left all the other ones out <laughs> and just kept those in, which will be down to maybe 40 if I do the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> two of them they're thinking how long does it take to, to sew um and the reason is because we had to attach each balloon to each balloon before we attached it to the piece so it was a lot of fiddly fiddly you know bits and the other thing was i didn't leave the balloon threads long enough to do that they were too short and i had to cut and then just start again and i said just weave it on the inside if that happens to you as well um, and threading the needle is always an issue. I have to do that off air. I have to pause the video, do it off air and come back and say, well, I did that off air because <laughs> it keeps splitting. Yeah. I uh, need to go catch up when possible. Have a good weekend at Pipeworks. Ciao. All right, Auntie T, we'll see you soon. I'm going to be off soon in about another 10 or 15 minutes anyways. So there you go. Um, just to give everyone the update uh, on what's happening for the rest of the week we are starting the vest on tuesday not monday monday is going to be a lazy day <laughs> um you work hard for the channel thank you oh thanks fluffs oh fluffs we've got to get together you and i <laughs> um so yeah tuesday the vest will go up i want to say the vest it's only the start of the vest don't get excited i'm doing it in parts because i don't want these hour and a half two hour videos going up anymore so you're only going to get the first bit of the vest which will be the back we're working on the back first now you'll get the first part of the vest and i'll say right head off on your own and do 50 rows no i won't i'll say do about six rows <laughs> i'm just an exaggerator aren't I? then we have to work on how to do the um decrease because it's a little different with this pattern because we are not working this way we are working that way. So the decreases and the increases where the armholes and where everything else is, is going to be different. I think the armholes very similar. So I'm not going to worry about that. It's just, you know, a little decrease, increase. That's easy. When you get to the front, once we do the, the front bits, that's going to be a little tricky to remember the counts. But as long as you remember the count for your size, you cannot go wrong. Everyone's size is going to be different, but I'm trying to work at that extra small and small are the same, medium and large are the same, uh, extra large and two extra large are the same, three extra large and four extra large are the same, and five extra large will be different. That's what I was trying to work out with the, the actual sizes. But we are doing, don't focus on small, medium, large, focus on the measurement of them. So when I say to you, measure your chest size, go measure your chest size, do the pattern of that chest size. Don't do what you think you, you are in size. I know a lot of people do that. They say, well, when I go to Kmart, I'm a size medium. When I go to whatever, I don't know, Miller's, give me some names. I can't think of names right now. Um, Katie's or I'm trying to think of names. When I go to all these names shops, I'm always a medium. Don't think like that because the size chart on sewing and crochet is a little bit different to what you hear. Now, overseas, I know this for a fact that American size charts are totally different than Aussies, than the Australians. We house sizes are, they they sound size bigger than yours in, in the US, but they're the same size. They're just, <clears throat> I think yours is eight. <coughs> Excuse me. Your eight is our... 12 or something or something like that i can't remember what it is but it's different sizes so don't focus on extra small small medium like focus on the measurement your chest measurement that is all you need to focus on for your piece i hope that makes sense for your vest yeah um and what else i'm going to tell you i think that's it guys actually i really do think that's it for now uh remember guys if you do head up to pipe works and you do see us come up to the table say hello even if you don't want to purchase come and say hello anyway just make yourself you know just say hi i watch you all the time or i don't watch you but i want to or that sort of thing just let me know <laughs> but if you do want to purchase anything you get a further 10 percent off 
anything on the day. Now, I was shouting out 20% off everything on Friday. Oh, Friday. Let's try Sunday. Last Sunday. So if you come to the table and you hear me shout 20% off, you still get a further 10% off. What? <laughs> That's because you are our first point of call here at YouTube. You are our first, I don't know, you are our first people. <laughs> Do you like that? Our people. You're an our people person. <laughs> uh, how about if middle is bigger than, <clears throat> the, if my middle is bigger than my chest? Oh, okay. Excuse me. Sorry. If your middle is bigger than your chest, then do the middle. The, you Have a look at the measurements. I'll do the chest, um, the waist, and the hip. Those three measurements will be there. The widest part of your body, do that. It just means that the top bit will be a little bit either tight or loose or whatever. Um, but just remember, you really need, it needs to fit around your waist and your hips. It needs to fit around both of them. Not really, because my vest goes up to my waist. I tell you, if you want to do another, I don't know how many stitches, if it's 15 or 17, I can't remember. Don't quote me on it. It's, it'll be in the tutorial. Um, then you can have it down to your hips or just below your hips. So it's a longer vest if you want it longer. I do give you that information if you want it longer. But for me, mine's going to be waist length, just that tiny, tiny little bit lower than waist length. Like there's your waist. Like that would be my waist and it'll be like sitting just below the waist. It looks like it's sitting above the waist because yours truly has something in front that goes in the way. I don't know what it is. It's all those donuts <laughs> from Pipeworks. <laughs> I'm going to blame Pipeworks. <laughs> I'm going to blame the donut guy. The donut guy. But I tell you what, if you're at Pipeworks on the weekend, you've got to try those donuts. What's <laughs> to die for? Um. I don't know how I got sidetracked, but yes, if you're, uh, we'll talk about that on the actual video, which is Tuesday. Tuesday's video will have all the information you will need for your measurements. Um, focus on those measurements, really, really, really important. Don't get those measurements right and your top's not going to fit. Don't assume because you're a medium in what someone said before, Walmart, that you're going to be a medium there. It might not work that way. If you're a small in Walmart, you think you're going to be a small there? No. Don't suggest, don't even think that's going to happen. Watch those measurements. Measure your bust, your waist and your hips before you do anything. Does that affect on the reduction neck bit? Um, not really. The, the reduction on the neck bit is, it's very basic. I've tried to keep that as basic as possible. So everyone's will be different. Every size will be different, but not every size. So for two sizes, they'll be the same. For the next two sizes, they'll be the same. For the next two sizes, they'll be the same. So it depends on the size that you are. So um, if your waist is a little bit bigger than the average waist of that size, you will only have that tiny little bit different because you're in that bracket. I hope that makes sense. You're still in that bracket. And again, the drop is not massive. It kind of is a, a gradual drop. So um, it's not really massive. I had an itch. I'm thinking, what is that? It's my hair. I'm thinking it was a spider. <laughs> but don't you love it? I thought, oh, something's tickling me. It's my hair. <laughs> it's really long these days. Look how long it is. It's very long. Oh, needs a cut. Um, yeah, so just focus on that. The front will be the same. If you find that when you're doing your vest, you don't like it that low, stop the decrease there. Just continue doing your stitches, which we'll talk about that uh, when we're doing the front. The front's a long way away, guys. I can guarantee we're not going to be on the front this week. I can totally guarantee you. We're going to start the back. I mean, I could be wrong. You could be really fast at crocheting. Don't forget I'm doing, you know, 10 or 15 other projects on the same day as well. <laughs> you could be really fast. Maybe, maybe not. Um, who knows? You could be fast. And if you are, you say to me, Mary, I've done the back. Oh, no, I say. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, like this. I'll be like that. Um, no, I won't. <laughs> I'll just say, okay, I'll pop the, the next part up. Um, there will be times I say to you, look, you're going to have to give me that extra day before I get the front up or something like that. You might hear that. You might not. I don't know. We don't know until we start. <laughs> How long is it going to take? Now, it is a basic stitch. So the only problems, and they're not problems, they're easy, that you're going to have is decreasing. 
decreasing. Everything else is up, down, up, down, up, down. One stitch all the way through. You can do it in front of the TV if you like. Um, and there will be certain times where you'll need to do five rows or even ten rows, depending on your size. That's just straight doubles. Up and down, up and down, up and down, which is perfect. You don't even have to think. We like when we don't have to think. I don't like using my brains very much. Just don't tell anyone. Um, so, yeah, there'll be times when you're just doing that all the way across. So it'll be so much easier. The only time you need to think is when you are counting your front section because you want that to be perfectly even. <laughs> you don't want to have one coming there and one going up there and it's like, oh, what happened there? You know, it's got to be perfectly even on both sides, yeah? That's all. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> That's all I have to say. All right, guys, I am going to head off. Uh, again, if you are at Pipeworks this weekend, please pop around and see me. Uh, my table is on F for Freddie, 17. So it goes in rows of alphabet all the way up, right? And then there's numbers on the ground. So just look F17, look on the ground where you see the numbers, go into aisle F and I will be there. Oh, you won't miss me. I'm pretty loud. And if the Latin guy's walking around with his little machine with the Latin music on and the little bubbles blowing, yours truly will be dancing. So you won't miss me because I do that. All right. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do all the wonderful things that you guys do for each other and me and everybody else. And also try to be good. <laughs> I keep popping that at the end of all my lives and all my videos. No, just my lives. I don't do it on my videos. <laughs> try to be good. Ciao for now. We will see everyone next week. Get ready for the best on Tuesday. Bye.